Students often struggle with question 1-4, so I thought I would do an analogous example to help you through. This question asks, 0 0.60 moles of P4 has how many molecules and how many phosphorus atoms? Let's start with the molecules question first. We're going to write down what we're given. 0 0.60 moles of P4. Now we need to think about our ratios. Obviously, we would like one mole of P4 on the bottom. P4 is a molecule. And if we have a mole of something, then we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd parts of that something. So if you look at this ratio, this is a true ratio. The only thing I need to do to answer the first question is multiply 0.6 times Avogadro's number. And I wind up with 3.6 times 10 to the 23rd P4 molecules. For the second part of this question, I'm asked about phosphorus atoms. Once again, I'll start with what I'm given, 0.6 moles of P4. I believe it is a true statement to say that there are four moles of phosphorus atoms in one mole of P4. That is a true ratio of one divided by one and my first multiplier. When I think about my second multiplier, I need one mole of phosphorus atoms on the bottom so that I can get phosphorus atoms to cancel out. Of course, I have already canceled out moles of P4. How many items are there in one mole? Well, I hope you say to yourself, Avogadro's number. It is a true ratio of one divided by one to say there are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd phosphorus atoms in one mole of phosphorus atoms. When I plug that into my calculator, I wind up with 1.4 times 10 to the 24th phosphorus atoms. There's a second way I could do the second part of this problem. I could take my first answer of 3.6 times 10 to the 23rd P4 molecules and start with that. If I started with that value and then multiplied it by this true ratio, four phosphorus atoms are in one P4 molecule. That is a true statement. If I took 3.6 times 10 to the 23rd and multiplied it by 4, guess what I would once again get. So there are different ways to do stoichiometry problems. The only thing you need to make sure of is that your units cancel out and that your ratios that you're multiplying by are 1 divided by 1.